You looked into Capcho, Podium, ChatGPT, and Memento. Well, I my my experimentation with uh, AI started out probably a few months ago with um, ChatGPT, and ChatGPT uh, has a free version, which is an older model, and then it has the the paid version, which is the latest model. And they just announced an enterprise version. And then I also tried, uh, I also experimented just for, for fun for myself with Mid Journey, which is an image generator. And so one thing, and I, I may butcher this, but one thing that made really clear what AI is to me and so that people can understand, you know, the term artificial ingel- intelligence in terms of what the technology is right now may be a little misleading. Like AI is basically the processing of enormous amount of data, the finding relationships between these data, calculating probabilities. And so it, it basically, if you think about the, you, you ask a question to AI, you give it a task, AI goes through all this data, sees what are the closest possible relationships, and then spits out an answer. Um, so I, I had that experience. Um, I came to the, the conference. I tested Capture because of Harry Duran from Fullcast, who told me that he, he was using that. And actually, um, the second tool that I tried, which is Podium, and, and I'll have some examples from them here, um, they were next to your booth. You may oh, recall, okay. You may yeah, recall, right next recall, to me. Right, right next to you, and they were making the book. And so I tried that. Um, there's another tool and I will have the name, uh, or I will send you the link, uh, before the episode, if I don't manage to, to get the tool during the episode, that is a video tool. The reality overall is that this year AI is exploding and we're in a really, really early phase. And so you can go on Google and say, you know, um, text AI tools or best AI tools, and you'll find a lot of tools. And one of the advantages of being in the phase right now is that everybody will have free trials. And so you can try the different tools and look AI for podcasters, try the different tools and see what works for you. And in some ways, if you remember about 10 years ago, when the social media management tools started coming out, right? Hootsuite, uh, whatever the other tools were, you could get a subscription for nine ninety nine because they were all in the certain land grab mode. They wanted to get customers. Now it's very hard to get a very good social media management tool um, for less than forty nine ninety nine. They've matured. You know, they the the best tool have survived. A lot of tools have gone by the wayside, and AI is in that new frontier phase with the tools. Yeah. Um, Another tool that I tried, and I really like the CEO, David, is a tool called Momento. Um, and it's, I think, studio.momento.fm or momento.fm. And they found me actually in November of last year um, by pitching me on LinkedIn because I had podcaster. And so I was part of their beta and Momento. The tool has evolved now. It's a more sophisticated video editing tool. But at the time, they took my episode. They basically just from the RSS feed, and then they generated a transcription. Um, They found like the five or six moments that they felt were most interesting in the episode. And then they gave me like five options of a video that has those moments already ready, you know, different formatting. a tagline. So that's a lot of what the tools are doing now. 